Hi, it's Peg, and I'm down in my cold basement. Um, this month and next, we are working with watercolor as a medium. And there are a lot of water mediums that you can use. I'm, I'm looking at some of these on my desk right now. I was cleaning out some stuff this morning, and I ran into these color burst uh, things from Ken Oliver. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with these just because of the way they're packaged. I don't like the poof thing on the end. These are liquids, and I have a few that are the powders that are left. Um, yeah, and they make a mess. Let me tell you, they make a mess all over the place. So if I'm going to use any of those, I probably want to put a piece of paper down underneath because they go everywhere. Now, I have my uh, water tray here. And I have an another bunch of water mediums out here. I have these uh, Distress and Marabou uh, crayons. I have some uh, Gelato, some Neo Color 2, and I also have my uh, Ink Tense pencils here. So, uh, Ink Tense is a good one. If you're going to be traveling, you can take these pencils with you. I don't know where I got that out of. Anyway, um, and I like to have graphite. Uh, this is just a graphite pencil, and a, this is one of those clickable graphite pencils. So I like to keep these in here with extra graphite and a couple of watercolor brushes. Um, so this is a little journal. Uh, I started this some time ago, and I was just playing with water media and doing uh, different succulents in here. So you can see I have a number of different things that I've started on. This one needs some work. Um, here's just a little drawing, and I have a few pages to finish up in here. So um, let's just let's just take a clean page. Uh, for this, let's just do a quick little drawing. Um, I was watching something. Somebody was showing how to draw some quick succulent shapes, and they just did a they did a little U with a piece coming up like this, and then they did circular shapes. You know how they a lot of succulents have those little. Um, they're almost like pearls where, you know, and I think some of them even use that for reproduction. Those little pieces drop off. So I'm just making these circles. And then they came back and they drew these little almost leaf type shapes on top of here. And you can do, you know, you can shape your leaf any way you want to. You can make them longer, thinner, fatter, rounder however you want to make it. This is just a quick sketch. Um, just to get some ideas down here. Because this is this is nothing special. This is just a little practice journal. And I wanted to play with a few different mediums. So, you know, the graphite is a good start. You can erase this. You can draw on top of it with a marker if you want to do some illustration. You can erase it out. However you want to do this. I'm just getting my basic shapes in here. Okay, and let's let's put this one into a little pot. Um, let's see, where do I have a pot in here? Yeah, here's here's one where it's got a little pot for the succulent to sit into. Let's do the same thing for this. This is kind of roundish, so I think I want kind of a, a round pot on this one. And we'll put a few lines in here. And so there's my, my basic drawing. Okay. So I can put my pencil back in here. And I think to start this, what do I want to use today? I have 
that in colors. I'm looking at the colors that I have in the distress. I've got a limey green, I've got this green, I've got this green in the marabou. There's a turquoisey. There's this. I've got some browns. And like that, there's a couple of blues. Let's pull these out. And then for a contrast, let's get let's get these orangey tones in here. Okay, so I think I'm I think I'm good with the colors. So where do I want to start? Let's start with I like this tone. This looks very cactus tone, right? This is peeled paint, and I just want to put that down. I'm going to rub that in. I'm not sure where I'm headed with this. And I'm going to grab this is fossilized amber. Twist that up a little bit. Let's get a little bit of that in there too. Add a little bit of that to the pot down below. So we'll use those two. I might add a little bit of this Marabou, I'm not sure what color that is. It's kind of a greenish blue. So this is where I'm starting. I'm going to take my water brush. I'm going to start with those light colors in here on my pot. Over here on my plant. some of that green. And this is kind of an abstract. You know, it's not meant to be a perfect replication of the plant. Okay, so we've got our general. I'm going to come back to that turquoise color. Blend that out. And let's add this rusty hinge to our pot in here. And what color is this? This is a spiced marmalade. Okay. So 
So let's get that blended in. This stuff has almost like a waxy coat on it, and there's some pieces that don't want to blend in very well, so I'm just going to try to pick that up a bit. Yeah, okay. So get this get this stuff out of the way. Don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I want to add a little bit of the dark. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that deeper blue. Just a little bit. Okay. So, get this out of the way. Let me dry that off a bit. So Shell, one of the things that inspired me is Shell had sent me these cute little uh, two inch ETCs and I'm thinking about adding some of these into this book. Be fun. So now that this is pretty much dry, I want to come back and do a little bit of illustration over the top and I don't know if this is going to work the best because this uh, is kind of waxy so I'm just going to have a piece of paper down here to clean my pen nib in case any of that it's a little bit built up on there. Okay, so I'm gonna come back to my plant. Yeah, this may not work just because of the waxy buildup on here. Give it our best shot, okay? This is only supposed to be a you know 10 to 15 minute sketching session. I think I'm gonna do these a little more random shapes than what we started out with. Have you guys ever seen those uh, crown of thorns? We've got uh, we've got a real bright fuchsia flower 
in these oddly shaped leaves. My mother had a great big one in our dining room when I was a kid. And um, <laughs> when I was cleaning, I was forever backing into it. They had big thorns. Big thorns. Yeah. But I'm, I'm liking the way this is coming together here. I see that. So if you go out on uh, Pinterest or Google or any of those places and you want to find out about drawing succulents, there's all kinds of stuff pinned out there, you know, um, things to help you get going. Um, you know, in case you need a starting point, this is a good place to start. And, you know, if you use the hashtag watercolor workout for um, Art Joy Sharing, AJOS 2020 or hashtag watercolor workout you'll find things that other people are doing here because um, there's a number of artists that are posting posting their work kind of liking the way this is going I think I might actually add I wonder what that would be like if I added some of those big fuchsia. <laughs> big fuchsia flowers on there. I'm liking this. I want to get the curvature on this bowl. And I'm wondering, I've got this... Uh, not sure what this is going to look like. Let's just do it on our scratch paper first and see. This is a liquid metal. Not sure what it does. Hmm. Just kind of like droplet. Let's see if I wet that what goes on. I haven't played with the oh. Hmm. That's kind of pretty. Kind of pretty. What if I drop the lemon yellow into that? Lemon yellow. What about the... I've also got a liquid verdigris. Oh, that's... Wow, that's bright green. Okay. Not so much a fan of the bright green. Let's get rid of that. Uh, what about this? What about the phthalo green? Oh, that's pretty, ooh, that's pretty bright blue green. Okay, not what I'm looking for. How about copper? What does it do? Oh, see, now I like the copper. But it's just going to get lost in there. Those are crimson. Oh, that's really red. Wow. Wow. That's the... Oh, now I like that. That's the pewter. Okay. Pewter and... Iron oxide, maybe? What if I mix those two? What happens? Get brown over there. 
Well, let's just play. I'm liking this color right here. Wonder what happens if I add a little bit of that in here. Okay, so at our play, let's make a decision. I'm really liking that pewter. Maybe a little liquid gold. And maybe a little of the lemon yellow. We'll see. Let's start just by... Is this dry now? Yeah, it is pretty dry. I'm just going to start... By adding a little wet in here. I'm going to drop some color in. This brush, I don't even know where I got it from, it says it's Harmony Squirrel Quill Creative Mark. I don't know, maybe somebody gave it to me. I'm not sure. But I want to I want to get some of that color down, and then I'm going to take I'll take a little bit of that pewter and drop it and blend that out. Just another drop. See if I can get some of those metallics showing up there in the background. See, they are really, they are really pretty. They've got this sparkle to them. Don't know if I want to add the gold. Maybe just a touch of the iron oxide. Up here to color that color up to the top. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. And then down here, here's that halo green. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe the, let's do the verdigris. Just taking my wet squirrel hair brush here, dropping a drop of that on there, and just adding the littlest bit down here to the bottom. A little bit much. Pull it back. And we'll dry it and call it good. I may add some of Shell's cactus on there, and uh, that's it for watercolor today. Thanks, guys.